Hi everybody, welcome to Elementary Classical Mechanics, the subject where observing the universe suggests new mathematical and computational approaches that can literally transform our way of modeling and predicting any aspect of the world. Welcome back. This is the third lecture for Chapter 6, and I will look at Example 7 in this lecture. Okay, this is a classic inclined plane problem with no friction. So here's our inclined plane. It's, it's um, this line that's at an angle alpha with respect to the horizontal. And a ball or block slides down with no friction. The only force acting on the block is gravity minus mgk, we'll, we'll assume that the vertical um, direction is k. And then, in order to keep the block on the plane, we have a normal force normal to the plane, n. Okay, now it's going to be convenient to pick a different coordinate system, one that is um, parallel to the motion, we'll call that e1, and normal to the motion, we'll call that E2. And then we can resolve the vector, minus mgk, in using a little bit of trigonometry and similar triangles, minus mg cosine alpha E2, because it's in the opposite direction of E2, and mg sine alpha E1. That's the component moving the object down the plane. Okay, with the forces understood, we want to compute the acceleration, the velocity, and the distance traveled after time t. So, the particle moves in the direction E1 that I've just defined. And let S be the distance along the plane, distance along the direction E1, and S would be zero at the top of the plane at the point A. All right, then md squared dt squared se1, that's the acceleration that's only in the direction, only motion along the plane, and the component of force along the plane is mg sine alpha e1, and we can forget about the e1s for the moment because that's the only direction that um, motion occurs, and this is the acceleration. Now the speed would just be ds dt. We integrate this. dv dt is the acceleration, ds dt. The speed, we integrate it. Velocity is zero at the top, and we get this for the speed. Not velocity, because I need to put the unit vector in, because velocity is a vector, but that's a picky point at this stage, because everything's in one dimension, but it's useful to keep remembering that velocity is a vector. It has a direction and a magnitude. And then the distance traveled at any time, keeping in mind that... Um, we start at s equals 0 at the top, and we get this expression. So for alpha equals 0, no inclined plane doesn't move. There's nothing pushing it. And alpha equal pi over 2, just a uh, projectile type problem. Everything's moving vertically. OK. Hopefully you found that to be an easy example. And next time we'll finish with example 8, which is a really fun example. I like it, and it's a bit more challenging. So, until next time, bye.